All right, so we are going to go ahead and make some filled regions, um, some text, and some lines with different subcategory settings. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to scroll my middle mouse wheel to zoom in on this bottom right corner. And if you need to pan, you can press the middle mouse wheel to pan. I'm going to go to Create, Filled Region right here in the Detail panel. And I'm going to edit the type. Um, again, you're going to be editing and duplicating types over and over again. So if you click on Edit Type in your Properties dialog box and you go to Duplicate, we're going to name this Solid Gray. Okay, and click OK. And now you just want to set the parameters um, here to match what you want it to be, which I want this to be Solid Gray. So I'm going to set the color here to gray. And then this cut fill pattern is a diagonal crosshatch and I want that to be solid. So I'm going to left click sort of over here on the right hand side of that and open up the fill pattern dialog and select solid fill and click OK. And you'll see that'll update and click OK. And so now you'll see that that filled region solid gray is selected. I want to come up here in my draw panel under the contextual menu and select rectangle. And I'm just going to left click doesn't have to be exact and left click. All right, so two and a quarter and two and a quarter is fine. I'd rather it's two to two inches by two inches. So what I'm going to do is you see these listening dimensions. I'm going to come to this one eighth here and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to type one quarter. You're going to see it's going to move that line over. All right. Now I'm going to go to the modify to stop the line command and I'm going to select this bottom line left click on the listening dimension here, change it to one quarter. Then I'm going to select this line, change that to two. Select this line and change that to two. So you can see it's moving whichever line is selected. Okay, so now I've got a two by two inch. I'm going to hit the big green check to finish our edit mode here. And it is, and then I'm going to select off of it right there. You're going to see it's going to give us a solid fill. So that's how you create solid fills in here. Um, the next thing we want to do is create some lines. And I want to create some gray lines. We have the option to create black lines. So let me show you a couple of different types of lines that are available to you by default. If I come into create here, we did the line before. So if you select line, you get a pull down here in the subcategory. And I'm going to pick wide lines. And I'm just going to left click somewhere over here and left click somewhere over here. And then select modify to stop the command. And if I zoom in, you can see that this is a wide line and that's a thin line. If I pick that and I select medium lines, I get a medium line. But what if I want a gray thick line? How would you do that? Well, you have to set your own subcategory. You have to make a new subcategory a line. So let's go ahead and do that. I want you to type V twice, so VV and go to your object styles. That's just a shortcut I used to get to your object styles. You can also go to the manage tab up here and there's an object styles there as well. Um, you can see here's your title block line types. They have line projection which is the, basically the line weight. The thinnest line weight is a 1 and then we have a medium line which is a 3, a thin line is a 1, and then a wide line is a 5. We'll talk about those line weight settings a little bit later. But what we want to do is select the title block and go to new subcategory. Okay, and we're going to name this. Let's just be consistent, so I'll name it wide gray line. Click OK, and you'll see that one will show up. I'm going to go to the pull down here, pick the five, go to the line color, and pick gray. Click OK. Now you could change the line pattern here as well. You have an option of selecting various types of line patterns, but we're going to leave it at solid. I'm going to click OK and click OK. Now if I go to the Create line, if you go to the subcategory pull down, that wide gray line is available to you. So I'll just come in and just put another line in here. Okay, and if I zoom in, you're going to see that that's a gray line, right? So that's how you make new line types and new line subcategories.
So I'm going to come and just change that to a wide gray line, maybe move. How, how far is that? Want that to be like 2.5 right there. And then this one, we'll make that about 0.25. Okay. All right. So now we've got some new line types. Now I want to put some text in. When you put text in, basically what you want to do is place anything on the title block that is never going to change. So I'm going to come in and put the word date and scale in here. And then I'm going to put sheet number right here. All right. And those will never change on any of the title blocks. We'll put in labels for the things that change. All right. So if you go to create, there's text. And if you click on text, it's going to load the default text note. And we want to do the same thing that we did with the filled region. So I'm going to go to edit type. I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to name this C. I usually name mine by the font, which mine is Century Gothic. And if there's an uh, identifying, so gray and eighth of an inch tall. So I'll click OK and then set my values. So change that to gray, change Arial to Century Gothic. And change the size to eighth of an inch. Okay. And at this point, I can also come in and say I wanted to make another larger um, text. I could duplicate that and I could say make this century gray half inch. And all those other options would be preset for me and all I would have to do is change the, the size. So you can make multiples at once. I'm going to click OK. And in this pull down, I want it to be the century gray eighth of an inch. And then once you get that set up, you're just going to left click and type in date. Okay. And then you can select enter and type in scale. And then I want to create a separate text string for the sheet number. So I'm going to left click and then left click again. And I'm going to type in sheet number. Okay. And if I click off and you can see that the sheet number, even though it, it is on top, of this particular um, piece, it has an opaque background. So let's let's make a new text type that doesn't have that. So if I select that, go to Edit Type, go to Duplicate. I'm going to name this Century Gothic Light Gray. Get rid of that two that it sticks on there. Click OK, and I'm going to make the background transparent, and I'm going to make the gray a lighter gray click OK and maybe just for fun we'll make it bold and click OK. Now you see you have a light gray okay and I'm just going to sort of I think those are fine where they are maybe move them up a little bit. I'm using the up and down keys you can move them however you like. Alright so that's text and for the next installment we're going to do labels. Alright